Do you find yourself typing the same things over and over again in certain emails that you send out in Microsoft Outlook? Well, if you do, it's time to stop doing that and save your content to what is called uh, Quick Parts in Microsoft Outlook. So you can use the Quick Parts Gallery to create, store, and find reusable pieces of content. This feature, Quick Parts, is available in Microsoft Outlook beginning at version 2010, and it's also available at a more robust level in Microsoft Word, same version. Let's get started. This is uh, how you would begin. You would need to open an email that has the information that you have been typing over and over that you now want to store to a quick part so that you can just do a couple of clicks to bring it in in the future. If you don't already have an email that has that in it, you can craft your email, type that information that you know is going to be used over and over again, and then you can select it from there. But either way, an email with what you want to retain in the quick parts, save to quick parts, must be open. And that's where I'm at now. Here is information that I send uh, to people who inquire about a training proposal. Select the information that you want to store in the Quick Parts library. I've selected my information and I'm in an email. From the email form at the top, choose Insert. I'm on the Insert ribbon now. While there, move to your right to the text group. Look for the button Quick Parts. When you click Quick Parts, down below, Last option is Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. After doing so, a dialog box appears where you can name your Quick Part. The program will always take up uh, the, or the first three words of a, a line as the name. You, you can type over that, of course. I'm going to call my, uh, this one I'm going to call it Microsoft. I'm just going to call it, make it easy, Office Proposal. Gallery is Quick Parts. It defaults to that because that's where we began, Quick Parts. And in our case, you're going to leave that at Quick Parts. Category is set to general. And I encourage you to create categories for your content because if you're anticipating that your library of content, reusable content, is going to grow, then I would suggest you create them in categories. Now this category for me, I'm going to change from general and then choose create new category. And I know this has to do with a proposal specifically about Microsoft Office, but there may be other blocks of information that I want to use that are relative to proposals. And click OK. I have a name for it now. The description area is helpful as you create more and more of these content blocks to describe what the purpose of that particular uh, building block is for. The save in is set to normal email. We're going to leave it at that. Options are how you would want the information to be inserted into the email. As a general rule, insert content only is what I want when I'm in an email, but you do have two other options. Insert the content you've created in its own paragraph or insert content in its own uh, page. And mine is going to stay at insert content only. And now everything's filled out. Name, gallery, category, save in location, click OK. Now here's how you will use it in the future. You would bring up an email. You would start an email. So I'm going to erase what's here and we're going to work on the preface that I have started an email and I'm at the point within the email that I want to bring in that block of information. Now I would go to the insert ribbon while in my email form to the text group and choose quick parts. Now look closely. I already have one category going that I use for promotions, but here's that when I created the category called proposals. And here's the name of that block of information called office proposal. And now click and that information comes into my email and then I'm ready to continue and then send my email on. It's a huge time saver. I hope you found this quick 
Microsoft Outlook tip helpful. Again, my name is Donna Gilliland and I am founder of Moss Training where I provide customized training in Microsoft Office. Have a great day everyone. More power tips coming your way soon. It's bye for now.